Hi, Nea, Daphne here. Thank you very much for sending in your next essays. Well done. This is great work. Um, I think you have two more corrections after this. I will, um, we'll see in the email that I'm going to send you what's coming up next. Um, and you said you, it took you quite a long time um, to write your task two. Um, you are very over the word count on the task two, okay? You really, really need to cut that back. Um, 350. I think you should have as a max, you're on 440 or something like that. Um, so it's a really good essay, but you're going to need to cut that because the danger is that the examiner doesn't mark all of it. And that will be really sad. Um, so cut, cut it back um, and then you can be confident that the examiner will read all of it. Okay, this one, rainfall in uh, England, Scotland and Wales. Uh, overall, the trend for rainfall in all three countries is very erratic. Good. I mean, there isn't really a trend. So I'd almost say the pattern of rainfall instead of trend. Slightly different words. The pattern for rainfall in all three countries. I was very erratic through the 12 month period. With Now, I wouldn't use brackets. So I've tried to kind of take out your brackets. With February and October, the wettest months, you don't need... Yeah, if you have with, you mustn't have were. So you can have with February and October the wettest months with measurements of that. Um, but I think I'd take out that. I think otherwise you're going to get into a very complicated structure over the period. I put com full stop there. February and October were the wettest months in Scotland. Um, I would prefer you to say here with measurements of X and Y instead of using the brackets. And it is a contrasting word here, whereas or while are both nicer there than and because you're contrasting. And July was the wettest month, which is under 150. Okay, very good overall sentence. That's looking great. In Scotland, the most noticeable feature of the graph was that rainfall reached the first peak in March, the second in October. Um, don't have that um, with rainfall at. Okay. So n n don't need those at all. Um, uh, followed by, oh, sorry, oh. followed by a dramatic f by dramatic falls. I think falls are better than drop. Um, doesn't really matter, but um, so followed by dramatic falls. Um, uh yes imagine to levels of <clears throat> you need to add that in there okay but really really good brilliant what i really like that you're doing is you're grouping the rainfall together you're not just saying scotland did this Wales did that someone else did that you're doing the nice contrasting which is excellent just what you want closely following the trend <clears throat> um it's clearly evident that um, I don't think you need that. Be careful. We don't really use many connecting words in these task ones. Uh, closely following the trend, there was a significant fluctuation. No, because the trend is that there's no trend. So I just go here. There was a significant fluctuation in rainfall in both England and Scotland during the year. The highest point in July, uh, peaking at, or have we had peak at? If we've had peak already, can't quite find it. If you've had peak already, um, you could write reaching or something like that. Approximately 120, yes. Um, and then contrast that. So in contrast, the okay lowest point. So in your compare and contrast, which is what you're doing, don't use and. Use these contrasting words, and then that's showing exactly what's going on. Notably, there was a steady dry period for Wales. Good, yeah, that's for me, that's really noticeable, isn't it? On that uh, coming back up, that definitely good to comment on that. Um, whereas in both England and Scotland did not note it, yeah, fantastic, super good, really, really solid task one. I really like that, excellent. Okay, let's go into this enormously long task two tickets. Now, what struck me when I read this? is that this paragraph 
I don't think you are on task. Uh, I think you've gone off on a bit of a tangent. That means you've gone in a little bit of a different direction. Let me show you what's happened here. So experts throughout both the developing and developed world have debated whether spending money to go to sporting cultural events are justified in today's world. Excellent. Or not. Today's world or not. When global issues like drug addiction and terrorism are on the rise. Okay. Now, I question why you are connecting this uh, to the title. Okay. Um, because my, my key, for me, the key word in the question is spend a lot of money. And I think possibly you haven't quite taken that on board. Yeah. Yes, this is right. Expensive. Not everyone can buy them. Um, but so this is your arguments here are good, but then you've kind of gone off when you start talking about terrorism. Uh, I don't think that's on topic because the, uh, for me, this should be, do I spend my money on this or do I save my money for my university studies or my retirement or whatever? Um, do, do you see what I mean here? Um, you've immediately linked it to terrorism. I think you're limiting your options here. Some believe entertainment events are dangerous. I strongly disagree. That's not the point. The point is, are they expensive? Yeah. Uh, you're going to discuss both sides. On the one hand, there's ample evidence. This is great that spending money on these events provides a plethora of opportunities for any economy to grow and create prosperity for its citizens. Central reason why this is threefold. Local artists and players can showcase their talents and skills at the event, which could increase their chances to be able to select and to to be selected. You want to passive there uh, or perform. At now perform on you actually perform on not at international platform. But secondly, um, this is very good. I like this about this. For me, this is absolutely right. Chances for family and friends to spend time together. Yes, as opposed to watching on television. Excellent. Lastly, companies could use these events to market their goods and services, creating both employment and business for them. Good. Fabulous, fabulous English. Look, I'm not picking up any uh, mistakes. A couple of uh, one little thing there, but it's excellent. For example, evidence by the WHO demonstrated that people who spend more time in either participating or watching social media could reach, uh, you don't reach to, just literally reach higher levels of yeah, mental satisfaction as opposed to people who did not attend these events. Uh, finally, you're getting on to talking about money. Conclusively clear there's a strong case to be made in favour of spending money to attend these events. Okay, good. All right, you've just about sorted out this paragraph because you've added this at the end. Otherwise, here you haven't talked about the ticket price at all. Yeah, here it's the ticket price is the issue. It's expensive. But this line, brilliant, you pick it back up. So that's okay. This paragraph for me, I think you've you've gone off the point of the spending, the expense. Okay. On the other hand, allowing for these events. Okay. Now, it's not allowing for, it's holding, uh, organizing, or hosting. These events could be extremely dangerous due to criminal activities. And um, this is largely because generally larger numbers of people attend these events and terrorist, and attend these events and terrorist groups may spoil them. Don't You don't need to repeat events, them, you could use the pronoun by using explosives. Okay, for example, a study by Oxford showed that over 60% of cultural sports events were destroyed. Whoa, that's a very high number. And they weren't destroyed. I'd be very careful on a statistic like that. Were threatened. You could have that. Uh, but you cannot have destroyed because that just does not make sense. Last year, throughout the whole world, which leads to extreme um which leads to or could lead to lead to extreme anger due to casualties, sadness and loss of hope. Yeah. Consistent with this, drug dealers also abuse the events by targeting young generation. Okay. I mean that may be true that but 
you are not connected. You've, you've really got a long way from spend a lot of money. So is this positive or negative? This is spend a lot of money. This isn't go to the event. That's okay. The, the point is, is it okay to spend a lot of money on it? So now you probably think, oh yeah, okay, I, I see what you mean. <laughs> I hope you do. Um, this doesn't connect to the title. So in terms of, although your grammar is beautiful and your argument's clear, in terms of task achievement, you've gone a long way off task achievement, so you would be losing a lot of marks on that one. Always check the title. Keep checking. Am I answering the right question? Yeah. Um, to conclude from the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that entertainment events are invaluable in terms of sharing culture and demonstrating specialized techniques. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, lovely. However, and then you could, I mean, take out that and have, however, um, in my opinion, um, people of all ages should be saving for the future, which could be uncertain or future, depending on whether this is university or moving house or something like that, um, as this is very important or spending should be modified because of these other considerations. Okay. Um, so I hope that helps you just um, explain what's going on. Also, just watch out for the length. Okay. A bit too long, um, but, but basically, seriously good. Well done. Thank you.